You too. We are live in three, two, one. What's going on, guys? War Philly here to bring you guys another video. So, um, right now I had my ELD with me. He had to go home because of a family emergency. So I'm gonna be solo until I get home time on the 17th. So about four or five days of driving by myself, which is gonna be amazing because I miss driving, I miss backing. So it's a uh, pretty awesome kind of be by myself for a couple days, get a little bit of a break, and then get some home time finally. I haven't had home time since like Thanksgiving. Anyways, um, I'm making this video today because it's been a while since I made a trucking video. And since I had to drop off my ELD at the Denver yard for him to go home, um, this morning they had me do like a yard check or whatever, you know, just, you know, see what kind of trailers are in the yard and what the fuel levels are. So anyways, um, I found two trailers that are pretty low, but this one that I got is completely empty. So I'll show you guys right now. I just picked up that trailer that having me go fill it up with some reefer fuel. Um, I do have a load on me that's going to uh, Lake in Utah, but I'm going to take care of this first because we're a team and that's what we do for each other. So I'm available. Um, it's it's a, it's a Coors load, so there's no like set deadline or anything, so I don't mind doing this. Um, it's, you know, it helps out the team, right? So anyways, um, if you're going to drop your trailers, make sure you top them off before you drop them off. So you don't run into scenarios like this. So this reefer would not even start because it's out of fuel. So I'll show you. I'm going to have to fuel it and I'm going to have to prime it. So I'll be right back and I'll show you guys all of that. <laughs> Let's go. Empty, completely empty. This reefer would not even turn on at all. It tries to kick over, but it won't. Um, so you have to prime it up. So you have to twist off the primer and pump it. This works really good for your girlfriend, wife, or anybody that you meet on Tinder. Um, if you ever do meet anybody, try this move. It's called the primer. Let's go. guys we're back so today was a pretty exhausting day I guess um, really put a lot of respect for those local guys what they do for us um, but having to prime that primer <laughs> it took a long time it took about 30 minutes of just pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping it so um, always make sure you guys top off your reefers before um, you guys drop them or else you know you're gonna be in the same situation having to pump up that uh, so another issue that I kind of want to talk about is the uh, not to talk bad about the company because I mean company's great I love me trucking um, but they do have a problem with drivers sometimes um, new drivers are pretty amazing um, I love all our new drivers that we're getting um, of course there's bad apples here and there but a lot of our older drivers are um, pretty stubborn and um, pretty miserable as you guys heard me say this numerous times the uh, super trucker mentality but being wrong is a bad combination so just watch out for yourself is all I gotta say for you guys there's a lot of people that have been in this company for a while that love to snitch on you so if you are wearing flip flops at a shipper or receiver they are taking pictures of you and they are sharing those pictures to um, either their DMs or safety or you know Facebook pages that have you know, safety inside 
hideable. If you're not wearing your vest, people will snitch on you. Just make sure you guys are on your P's and Q's when you are at one of our yards. That's basically all I really want to say about that. Don't really gotta worry about other companies too much. It's your own company drivers. More so the older drivers will try to snitch on you to try to get ahead. Um, so just be just very be very careful, is all I gotta say. Um, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is, and you kinda gotta deal with it. So hopefully you guys learned something today.